Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to more preview coverage of Cold Sep Revolt on the Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts to NIS America for providing a copy of the game. And let's dive back into it, guys. We're going into the story mode here, into the quest area, which was unlocked after doing the tutorial and the first match. So let's dive into it. This is new, of course. It's the Rebels. Uh, who are the free bats and what is their goal? Stage one in progress, three stages. Prove yourself. All right, so you can change your books if you have multiple books. We only have one, of course, right now. We can have up to 50, which is really cool. You can change the scepter, other quests to return. Go to match start here. Fire and Earth is our book. That's what we have right now. And here we go. I'm glad you were able to regain your memory as the scepter. Although it was a little forced, it seemed like it worked. Who are you people? Let me officially introduce myself. I'm Alicia, a scepter just like you. And I'm also the leader of this rebel group, the Free Bats. Rebel group, Free Bats. <clears throat> That's correct. I'm Psyche, the vice leader of the Free Bats. And I'm Tenet, a member of the Free Bats. I am the one who found you passed out in the city and brought you here. Passed out in the city. Me? Yes, it seemed dangerous to leave you there, since you didn't look very well. Oh, there's no need to thank me. I just did what was expected of a servant of God. Besides, it's quite obvious that you were hurt by a common enemy of ours. Yes, you're probably right about that, Tenet. You were also attacked, weren't you? By the Count? The Count? Who's that? What? You don't know who the Count is. How is that possible? Is your mind still napping or something? Psych, don't mock him. It's all right, I'll explain. The city, Selfas, is a city that is ruled by Count Kranis. The Count has completely blocked off the city and has prohibited any entry or exit. Or exit. He is targeting and killing the scepters of the city almost like uh, it's a scepter hunt. As soon as he finds out someone can use cards, they are obliterated. A scepter hunt? That sounds like a problem. Our thoughts exactly. That's why we formed the Free Bats for self defense. Self defense not only are not our only goal, however. We want to win the freedom and safety of the, all the scepters of the city. Alone we'd be defeated one by one, but together we can survive. Would you like to join us? I think so. I'm sorry, but I I don't know what to do. I don't have any memories, so. What you mean like amnesia? It must be. Maybe just confused from being attacked by the Count's underlings. But I'm sure your memory will return eventually. But we need our strong allies, and I'm sure you do too. So, would you like to become one of our comrades and escape the city with us? To aim for the land of freedom? Hey Alicia, are you still talking about escaping? You know, I'm against that. We need to kill the Count, not run away. I keep telling you that. Besides, letting an untested newbie join us, we don't know if he'll be if he'll help. He may even end up being a hindrance to us. There's no need to worry about that. The battle we had earlier proved that he's a very talented scepter. Even so, Tenet and I haven't fought him. I'm having a hard time believing you without seeing how he does firsthand. So it looks like we're going to be battling um, these other people, probably, to test ourselves. Hence, prove yourself. Sorry, Lucia, I just got back. I'm a little late. Oh, Yuma Jen, welcome back. How was the scouting? Anything unusual? No. Who, who is that? Is he a new friend? Hooray! Hey, what's your name? Jen, don't get too close. He might be dangerous. <laughs> who are these two? Yuma and Jen. Although they're both still young, they are admirable scepters. Yeah, we both scepters. We might even be tougher than you, big bro. Bro? Hmm, you and Jen, this might be perfect. Psych, what do you mean perfect? Hey, you. What's your name? Or maybe you don't remember that either. Eddie. My name is Eddie. Alright then, Eddie. Would you mind fighting Yuma here? Huh? You want me to fight her? Hold on, Psych. Why do I have to fight him? Don't be so negative about it. 
I don't really know where this little stray dog came from, so we need to see what he's got to determine whether or not he'll be useful to us. Yeah, Yuma, don't lose. You can do it! What should I do here, Alicia? Well, if it's going to be a mock battle, I'll allow it. But first, let's see what he thinks. What do you think? Do you want to fight? I don't mind trying. Really? So you're going to prove your strength to everyone? It's not that. I just want to get my memory back. Maybe something will come back to me when I'm using the cards. Well, the reason doesn't really matter as long as we can see what you've got. Alright, let's start them off, Tenet. Yes, very well. Then Eddie, Yuma. This is only a mock battle. Please don't hurt one another. Ready, begin! Dot, dot, dot. A mock battle with this girl, huh? Well, maybe it will help me remember something. And here we go. Mock battle. There's an intersection on this map. When you reach it, you can decide which way to go. By using intersections to your advantage, you can stop a land of element you'd like to avoid the enemy's territory. Be sure to look carefully when choosing the path to take. Cool. It's your so we turn. start off right there in the middle. Alright, so... Got a fighter creature. Alright. And... Alright, five. Um... Go this way. We will put our green orb down here. Summon him there. Go easy on me. She had a green orb as well there. We started with him, so we'll see where she goes here. Um, that way. All right. Where are you the gate? To the next gate? Lucky for a gate bonus. <laughs> right away off the bat, it's gate your bonus. Turn. Arm an item. All right. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we're gonna use this little spell. Adds one dice to the target scepter. Holy word, one. Oh, gotcha. We're gonna use this on her, not for us, because we're gonna use Holy it. Word, not on me. I think I used it on me in the earlier episode. I didn't see what it said automatically. This actually doesn't help me. This actually adds, gives them a one roll. I thought it added an extra dice. That's a different spell. So when she rolls, one of her dies will be one. Which is good. <laughs> I get a one there, too. Uh, put the fighter down. Give this a chain. See what Yuma does. Wind of Hope spell. They can draw two cards from the Wind book. of Hope. That's a pretty good spell. If you have good cards in your book, especially. Alright, Chainmail. Squirreen. I like Squirreens. She's moving this way now, so. Let's hope she lands on us. So you're gonna put a green org down, so... Alright guys, looks like um, the land here is getting a lot of territory filled up. <laughs> we have the air, fire, and water unscathed at the moment. It's your turn. Alright. Wall of stone, nice. Advance to the next gate. Alright. Nothing else to do there. Those guys aren't really meant for land. We could do it still, but um, probably not recommended. Wind of Hope. She's getting some good cards here. Let's see what happens. It's gonna equal, equal, equal. Did nothing, so toll. Okay. Discard your cards. And she has two of those. It's your Amazon turn. creatures. Long sword, all right. Let's roll. The final gate awaits you. Um, let me see here. Let's go that way. We'll put this 
down. There's Flogiston. I like the Wall of Ice. It's a really cool card, the way it looks. The final gate awaits you. Alright, gate bonus. No longer fatigued. Doing a land level up here already. My lands grow ever stronger. I'll make it hard to attack. Your cards. Hmm. You will, won't you? After five rounds, it will be possible for you to forfeit. If you wish to forfeit the current match, press and hold the forfeit button on the bottom of the screen. When you forfeit, you'll receive a reward depending on your progress to that point. In the case of multiplayer match, if the majority of the participants agree to forfeit, the stage will be forfeited. It's your turn. Okay. Ooh, gas clap. Cool. Let's see. Uh, roll here. Five. You've earned a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Let's level up. Uh, let's see. Level up him. My lands grow ever We'll go to a level three right away with him. <clears throat> you must have taken your eyes off, Eddie. <laughs> That's right, Yuma. You're right about that one. I can draw two cards with ones, I hope. hope. In the book? What do they, what do they get? Fighter and a mace. Which way are you gonna go? Okay. You've earned right to the world. gate. Lucky. <clears throat> Good luck on your next journey. Oh, okay, you actually have more spaces than that. <laughs> Wall of ice. Discard your cards. Have two it's of those. Alright. Our turn. Alright, mana spell. We're gonna use that card right away, actually. That's really good. Mana. That helps out a lot. Advance to the next gate. Alright, let's see here. We have. Let me go that way. We got a card. We can put the Wall of Stone down here. Summon him. Alright, so we got a chain of three, which is good. So that card she after the spell adds a six to the. Advance to the next gate. Leveling up. My lands grow ever stronger. I'll try harder. Discard your cards. And I'm gonna get rid of the miss. It's your turn. Another Phil uh Flogiston. Four. Let's see here. Um Raise him. Level up. My lands grow ever stronger. We have a toll there, land on their creature. I want to battle. Uh, we would have lost that battle probably. Eddie's being smug. Excuse me. What, Yuma? The final gate awaits you. We're doing pretty good with territory here. We can put an Amazon down here. A chain of two in the water. All we can do is increase it's steadily. That's true. So that was a uh, gas cloud creature. We can actually use that. Magic oh, target. Bolt. Let me see here. Um. 40. Let's 
target this guy. And the 30. The final gate awaits you. Excellent. Alright. Recommends leveling up this. My lands grow ever stronger. Go to level three. If I can't get past Eddie, I can't say that I'm an asset. I rent pretty fast. Probably an asset to the free bats or something. And I got three dice rule fly spell. Fly. They're gonna use it? They are. Five. Going that way. Empty territory. They're gonna make a creature? Nope. Nothing. It's your turn. Ritter word. Cool. Let's roll. Uh, My lands grow ever stronger. Level up Discard there. Your and we get two of those, so we get rid of that one. Eddie, you're being too obvious. This isn't how free bats fight. Really now. Fighter creature? You must be a little bit of a obnoxious one. She's young. Holy word six. She got a lot of good spells here for rules, so. I must say. I think the guy who we took 20 hit points off is probably. I think he gets restored once you get to the gate. Good luck. I'm fatigued. Your next yeah, he's back to 60, it looks like. Nothing. Oh, they put a statue there, yeah. It's your turn. Battle axe. Um. We're in a battle. Red Ogre. Why not? Let's see how it goes. Uh, we'll use the long sword here. Nice. The offense Slice that card in half. She keeps drawing Amazons here. Getting a lot of spells here for rolls. Advance to the next gate. All right, we need to get some territory here on blue. She has an Amazon she can put there, and she will. Yuma, you're being too obvious. The creatures are calling each other. It's your turn. And chain, I would think so. Yeah. Ooh, a dragon zombie? Nice. Let's roll. Alright, what do we have here? Nothing, really. Um, let me see. Yep, pretty much gonna end our turn, basically. At this point. Magic goal is 8,000. We got 30, 55 right now. Again, this fly spell. Big, big rolls. The final game Yahtzee! Awaits you. She's nothing to put down. Land level up. My lands grow ever stronger. She's catching up a little bit here. Don't think I'm just some ordinary girl. It's your turn. Excuse me. 
All right, Scorene, cool. I like those. We can territory again. Uh, let's see here. Recommends him. We can exchange creature. Yeah, actually, you know what? Good idea. The dragon zombie the should summon here because right he's a lot better than the other person they have there. That fighter. Get rid of the fighter. They're okay for placeholders. <laughs> but that's about it. Which way are you going to go, Yuma? Air is really empty as well. I need to get some territory in air. And, uh, in water. It's going to be level 3 there now, that land. My lands grow ever yeah, she's stronger. catching up. Um, wow. It's your turn. I'm not getting really good rolls here. Minotaur. Um, let's go this way. You've earned a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Okay, we will exchange here. Uh, oh yeah, we can put the uh, screen down here. Get the org out of there. The right creature in the right place. Because the org is for fire. So, alright, discard, discard red org. Okay. There's gonna be some kind of attacking here sooner or later. Advance to the next gate. She's really catching up though. Lizard man creature, that's cool. Man, she has almost all of water. It's your turn. Wow. I'm a squareen. Advance to the next gate. Let's see. Put the Minotaur down here. Needed that one bad, that territory. Land level up? Wow. It's gonna be level four. My level three. She has at least two level threes that I know of. It's like they're growing wildflowers. Some chain mail. Right. Six. That helps. Discard. I'm not gonna battle cards. because it would have lost with the down, down arrow there, so. Discard this. Wall of Stone. Yeah, she really has this water area taken up. Pretty good. The final gate awaits you. What's gonna happen here? She can't attack me. She could, but. Let's level up. Give me my fee. My lands grow ever stronger. I'll try harder. All right. So we eight thousand is our goal. Cards. We're halfway it's there. Your turn. All right. Sling item. Tax first. It's kind of an okay card. We have. Go that way. else to do here, really. Your that card isn't the best, so we'll get rid of that one. Goblins. 
Man, I love the music in this game. What a soundtrack. I know there's a special edition coming that I'm actually pre-ordered. I'm not sure what it comes with, I forget. I think it has a soundtrack. I'm not positive. I need to look it up again. I'm My excited for that. Grow ever stronger. Yeah, she got level 2s, level 3s there. Discard your cards. She's really owning the water. It's your turn. And nobody has anything in the a in the uh, in the air yet. Statue. Four. You've earned a reward. All right, can we put it, some Good territory down? I think we can. Journey. Statue. All right. Nothing will come if you defeating me this many times, Eddie. Mace item. Come on, Yuma, give up. Ooh. All right, so discard your cards. It's your turn. I love the little sprites in this game of the um, the creatures. Woodfolk, all right. Hmm. We can place the Flogiston down here. Keep getting this territory. Mana spell. Lucky to get that card. Lap number times 50, oh brother. You've earned a My card's good. Good luck. Something's gonna happen here. Um, Advance to the next gate. Some battling. We only have one battle in this map so far. I'm surprised. We're both kind of controlling certain areas of the board. Um, she's leveling up pretty high now. Level threes, level twos there. It's your turn. I think I have level four. Another Flogiston. Okay. <sighs> Advance um, to the next gate. Solid. Discard your cards. We already had one of these, so we'll get rid of that, as it recommends. Again, the recommendations are not always set in stone. You can, of course, do something else, um, which may be better for you, depending upon how the game's playing out, so keep that in mind. But for now, I'm going with most of the recommendations. If you put one there, my gosh. Lizard Man. She's owning water entirely. Wow. She got all the places it's she your wanted. Turn. Yikes. We're only up 500 as far as the magic goal goes. Oh man, guys. The final gate awaits you. Actually, no, we're summon um word here. Green. I hope she lands on my level fours. The final gate awaits you. What will you do here? She's gonna attack. She's gonna attack. All right, we have the advantage here, but she's gonna attack, so we'll see. This could be it, guys. Fighter Floki's gone. All right, let's use an item. We're gonna use our little chainmail here. She's using something as well. Plus 20. I get plus 40. So I have the advantage there with that. Critical hit, but we have the uh, armor there, so boom! Good job, Toast. The defense was too strong. We had a better um, spell there. Fighter couldn't do it. It's your turn. Simply because of the fact that we had the HP increase with the armor. Alright, mana spell. Gonna use that right away. Almost there. Uh, let me see. We'll go that way. Level 
level up. Level five. Look at that. Almost there. Only 400 away. Unless something terrible happens here, I think we got it. Once we reach the goal, we have to get to the, one of the gates, of course. So keep that in mind. It's not automatic. Something can still happen in between that. My lands grow ever she got level threes there. I think all level threes now. With Phoenix. Awesome. Seven. You've earned a reward. All right, we got to our goal. You are the winner of this war. Oh, okay. Gave us a win. Looks like that's the match. Eddie wins. Hmm, that power. He he was even stronger than we expected. Are you all right, Yuma? I'm fine. I'm fine, but I won't accept him, no matter how strong he is. I can't trust him so suddenly. Yuma. Let's go, Jen. You can't get close to him either. Huh, okay. See ya! <laughs> Man. I'm sorry, Eddie. They've become very cautious. Because we've all been chased by the Count. They'll be in danger as long as they're in this, in this city. But that pain won't last much longer. We'll only be in the city for just a little longer. Only until the next Star Festival. Star Festival? Yes, we're planning on executing our escape plan that day. Once we get past that day, the journey will finally begin. The journey to find our utopia far, far away. Hmm. That journey you speak of isn't a very easy path, either. A journey to find utopia? What kind of plan is it? I'll explain it to you, Eddie NCC. Star Festival is the biggest festival of the city. So the security at the gate of Karina, the only way in or out of the city, will be the light that day. If there are only weak scepters at the gate, we can get through with my abilities. After I break through, we'll all escape at once. We'll go over mountains, cross rivers, and our destination will be the sacred city of Daphneon. Sacred city of Daphneon. So that's... Yes, that's our final destination, our utopia, where the Count's rule can't reach us. Eddie, come with us. If we can make it there, we won't be attacked by the Count ever again. A life without worrying about being attacked. I think I understand the situation now. That said, the Star Festival is still, is still uh, a ways away. Ed, you need to get used to life here first. If you can become close to our comrades now, the journey later will be much easier. Comrades? You're right. I'll stay here for a while. Maybe my memory will come back. That would be nice if we did. I appreciate the true that. Winner is determined. So there we go. Pretty close match there for a while. She came back on us a little bit. But we won two good battles there, too. Yeah, so it was pretty even there. Till the very end. Well done. Got a GP reward. So you can purchase card packs at the shop. Alright. Got a thousand GP. And achievement obtained as well. And we got some bigger uh, points here, which is great. Personal points. And we got 90 there for a total of 95. And we unlocked the shop. Card pack unlocked. A new card pack. Economy pack is now available at the shop. Awesome. You, Eddie, was it? You did pretty well. Yeah, I'm surprised myself. However, you still don't have enough strength to defeat the Count. You need to gain some new powers. New powers? Yes, a Scepter's power are his cards. Do you want to know how to gain more cards? Yes, please tell me. The magic power you accumulate during battle crystallizes into GP. GP can be collected after a Scepter finishes a battle. Eddie, you should have gotten some GP after the last battle. Actually, I feel like I remember seeing it. If you go to the shop near this hideout, you can purchase cards with your GP. However, you can't just purchase any specific card you want. What you can purchase is in a stone that has a number of cards sealed inside of it. Which cards you get will be up to your luck. 
the shop. All right, I got it. What do I need to do to use the cards I get? To use the cards that you've obtained, you need to go to the book, choose a book, and then choose edit. You know, it's to use sets of cards called a book of matches, right? Or a book for matches, right? Edit your books to switch out the cards in your book and then create an even more powerful book. You should try editing your books after you've acquired some new cards at the shop. So I can edit my books to swap out whatever cards I want. Got it. Thanks for explaining everything, Psyche. Eddie, I have high expectations for you. I want you to build up more strength and help us defeat the Count. I'll think about it. Awesome. Alright, so we have two more things here. We have the Day of Fate. And we have my favorite cards here as well. That's pretty cool, guys. So, that will end this preview episode of Cold Sep Revolt on a Nintendo 3DS. Shoutouts once again to NIS America, guys. The game releases on October 3rd for the 3DS in North America. Make sure you guys get your pre-order in now. I'm Eddie Ray for Nintendo Chit Chat. See you guys right back here next time. Bye, everybody.